Hey everybody, my name is Whitney Mead, and today I want to lead you in Holy Communion. If you wanna pause this video now, you can go grab some bread and some wine or grape juice or gather your family, and I'll be right here when you get back. Well, now that you have your materials, let's begin. The word communion means to share in something. It could be sharing a meal or breaking bread together at a table. Com means together and union means oneness. We are sharing the oneness of Christ together with each other and with him. When Jesus led the disciples in the first communion, they were celebrating the Passover meal in the upper room. This is the same room where Holy Spirit would descend on the disciples and their followers after Jesus' death. In the upper room, Jesus took the bread and told his disciples, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. In the same way, he took the cup of wine and said, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Jesus was comparing himself to the Passover lamb. It was a symbol for what he was about to do on the cross for the sins of the world. He would die in our place. His body would be broken. He was also showing them that his blood would be shed for the payment of their sins. From now on, that meal would symbolize what Jesus was about to do for them and the rest of humanity. Jesus summarized the breaking of bread and the drinking of wine with one phrase in Luke 22:19. Do this in remembrance of me. I believe that taking communion on your own is a very powerful thing to do in your life. And obviously, this is something that the Lord is calling you to do today. So today, I want you to do just that. I want you to remember Jesus and what he did for you on the cross. And I want you to take a moment to reflect on how that changes your life. Take a few minutes to remember and reflect in silence. This time is between you and God. Maybe you want to spend some time thanking him for something he's done for you, or you could use this time to confess your sins to him and ask for forgiveness. Either way, let's take a few moments and pray. Now let's take the sacraments. The Lord Jesus on the night he was betrayed took bread and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, this is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. You may eat the bread at this time. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. You may take the sacrament of the cup at this time. Let's pray together. God, we thank you for your son, Jesus Christ. Thank you for loving us so much that you would spare nothing, not even your son, to save us from our sins. Help us to always remember this love and reflect on his sacrifice on our behalf. Give us the strength to live our lives by faith in him. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. 1 Corinthians 11.26 says, For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Thank you for joining me for communion. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and check out all of the other Christian prayer videos and devotional videos. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.